Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love you so much. I want to just rip off your arms and legs and carry you around in my purse all day. Oh, I love you so much. I want to grind up your muscles and organs and bones and spread you on toast. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love you so much. I want to just cut you open and scoop all your insides and wear your skin around town like an Allen suit. Mm. 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 Okay, bye, Wallace. Bye, Nicole. Ciao. Can I talk to you about something? I just had sex. I'm about to eat nachos. It's the greatest moment of my life. Unless you screw it up with whatever it is you're about to say. It's about your cousin. She's my cousin. It's like incest. Well, she's not my cousin. Yeah, but you're like my brother, so it's like my brother asking my advice on how to incestuously bang my cousin. Oh, I'm not. She, well, she has a boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. He's been coming over for Thanksgiving and Christmas for the past five years. Okay, let me break it down for you. This perfect nacho chip is Ben. He works at the United Nations as an expert in international copyright law. This moldy banana is you. I have no idea what you do because every time you tell me I fall asleep. You know what I write? User manuals for dedicated purposes and software. Okay, like copyright law is so exciting. At least he's an expert in something. What are you an expert in? Nothing. There are no people anywhere in the world seeking my advice on any subject. Ben's been dating Chantry for five years. They live together. They own furniture. They have a cat. You have nothing. You don't even have a plant. You've been single since that douchebag Megan broke your fragile little heart. Okay, okay. I broke up with Megan, all right? She wanted to stay together and work it out. I said no, so I dumped her. Of course you did. Anyway, I get it, it's fine. Like, she's in a relationship, nothing's gonna happen. You totally killed my sex nacho high. Move on her, bold, direct. If you're lucky, you hook up, she feels guilty, breaks up with Ben. If you're unlucky, she's furious, Ben's a friendship. So be sleazy? Yeah. And you think that'll work? No. I think even if she goes for it, she'll resent you for getting her to cheat on Ben. She'll break up with him, but she won't go out with you because you're... It's easy. You know. Option two, be the guy she goes to for advice. The downside is you have to listen to her talk about Ben all the time. The upside is you can slant your advice to slowly turn her against him. So be conniving. Yeah. And that'll work. Maybe, but maybe she'll see through it and think you're... Conniving. Yeah. You know. Option three, patiently wait it out. Eventually, either the distance gets to them and they break up, or it doesn't, and... They get married, live a happy life, with you always on the outside looking in, quietly pining indefinitely. So be pathetic? Yeah. That sounds fun. Well, it's got the advantage of not being particularly unethical, but it's got the disadvantage of being... You know, pathetic? Yeah. So your advice is be sleazy, conniving, or pathetic? Well, when you put it that way, it doesn't sound like very good advice. <laughs> uh... Oh, my God. Do you like it? Um, well, it's not my engagement ring. It's whether she'll like it. I think she'll love it. Then but I'm... There was a fourth it. option. Yeah? Be honest. Tell her how you feel. Might ruin the friendship, but at least you stood up like a man and expressed your feelings. Wait, I'm sorry. Well, since when does, does being a man involve expressing your feelings? I mean, did I miss a memo? Because if I recall, being a man meant hiding your feelings forever. Like Bruce Willis. You never see Bruce Willis expressing his feelings. Most you ever get out of Bruce is a hint of melancholy at the edge of a smirk. Do you think Bruce Willis would be happy just being friends? 100% honesty is the foundation of any relationship. Whoa, you are 100% honest with Nicole. Yes. About everything. Yep. What, New Orleans 2006? What was her name? Uh, Fabia? Yeah, she did look like a woman, to be fair. 99% honesty is the foundation of any relationship. No, it's, it's, it's not worth the risk. Not if it means losing her as a friend. So then it's option five. What's that? You move on. 